Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review this WineGuard Amplified Indoor Antenna. It's a flat antenna that costs a little bit more than most generic models on Amazon with a built-in amplifier and 60 mile range claim. How well does it work compared to other cheaper flat antennas? Stay tuned to find out. If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. This video is sponsored by Streamium. Are you tired of flipping between streaming apps to figure out what to watch or where to watch? Are you still paying a ton of money for old school cable? Introducing Streamium. It's an app that combines channels from multiple streaming services in one guide, including Sling TV, Spectrum, Philo, Friendly TV, and Vidgo. Streamium also offers over 100 free ad-supported TV channels, including local channels from local BTV. Another great feature is Cloud DVR, starting at just $5 a month. Record all of your favorite programs without having to hunt through various streaming apps to find them. You can also create your own streaming channels from your own personal media library with the channel creator. Streamium is available in the Amazon, Google Play, and Roku app stores. Click the card in the corner or follow my link in the pinned comment below or description of the video for more information. Before I get into this antenna review, I need to explain a few things about indoor antennas in general. They typically work in fair to strong signal areas within 30 miles of the broadcast towers depending on certain factors, such as your home's building material and how many trees are around your house. Too much tree coverage will likely require an attic or outdoor antenna setup. While you will always get the best reception and most channels possible with an outdoor antenna, there is one way to find out if you stand a chance to get all the major networks with an indoor antenna. On your web browser, go to rabbitears.info click on signal search, drag and zoom the pin drop to your location, change the height above ground to 13 feet, and click on go. This will generate a reception report at your location. If you see most of the local channels with signals listed as good, there's a good chance you might be able to use an indoor antenna. Anything else that's listed as fair or poor, you will probably need an attic or outdoor setup. While you have the reception report on your screen, pay attention to the RF channel numbers in parentheses. These are the channels each TV station broadcasts on, and it's usually different than what they show on air. Any channel that's 7 through 13 highlight in yellow is high VHF and may require a longer antenna element to be picked up, but can sometimes be picked up with a flat antenna if the signal is strong enough. So back to this antenna. The design is very comparable to most other flat antennas on the market, which begs the question of whether or not a flat antenna made by a reputable US-based antenna company will perform better than a generic flat antenna on Amazon. The antenna claims a 60 mile range. While this is certainly possible with an indoor antenna if you're in a higher apartment complex or a very flat area, most situations will require a medium to large size antenna installed outside if the broadcast towers are about 60 miles away. Remember what I said earlier in the video, indoor antennas usually only work in areas within 30 or 40 miles of the broadcast towers. While the range claim on the antenna may be a tiny bit exaggerated, it's a lot more reasonable compared to most other flat antennas that claim about a 200 mile range. To be clear, it's not about the range claim on an antenna, but how the antenna is specifically designed. The coax cable on this antenna is definitely on the thin side, not as thin as some other antennas, but still not the best. I really wish antenna companies would put a better effort into the coax cable used on these flat antennas. The antenna does come with an amplifier. In my experience, sometimes an amplifier will improve reception with an indoor antenna, but a lot of times it makes it worse. I always recommend trying an indoor antenna both with and without the amplifier connected, to see what brings you better reception. So how well does this antenna work? I tested it out in a new location with a bunch of other indoor antennas to see how it performs. If you decide to purchase this antenna, be sure to use one of my affiliate links in a pinned comment below or in the description of the video to help support my YouTube channel. Here are the stations I'll be testing out with this antenna, the RF channel they broadcast on, and the results of the last two flat antennas I tested out on the YouTube channel. 
There are three UHF channels and two VHF channels. The signal on WNEP, which broadcasts on UHF channel 21, was higher on this antenna than the last two flat indoor antennas I tested out. WYOU on VHF channel 12 came in very well on this antenna compared to the other flat antennas that could barely pick it up. WBRE on VHF channel 11 also came in very well on this antenna. WOLF, which broadcasts on UHF channel 22, had a higher signal level on this antenna than the last two flat antennas I tested out. This antenna was actually able to pick up the low power repeater of NJPBS on UHF channel 27. Most antennas cannot pick up this channel. Overall, the performance of this antenna was very good. It actually picked up the VHF stations well compared to many other flat antennas I tested out. Good VHF performance is very important on indoor antennas because of the impact of building material on VHF stations and super low power limits set by the FCC. I mean, these VHF stations are literally being starved of broadcast power. I would definitely recommend this antenna if you're attempting to use an indoor antenna within 30 or 40 miles of the broadcast towers. After all, it worked better than nearly every other flat antenna I tested out. With any indoor antenna, it's critical to use some kind of signal meter as a guide to find the best location for it. Moving an antenna as little as a few feet can have a huge impact on reception, which I demonstrated in a previous video of mine. If you plan on using an indoor antenna, I'd highly recommend the Mediasonic or this other digital converter box. Both have a signal meter that comes up if you press the info button twice, which is very helpful to find the best location for an indoor antenna. I include a link to both models along with an instructional video in the description of this video. And keep in mind that if you try to order the Mediasonic DTV box and it says it can't be shipped to your address, use the alternative link in my description and it should be able to ship. Keep in mind that all indoor antennas have their limitations depending on many factors, including your home's building material and how many trees are around your house. If you try this or another indoor antenna and can't get all of your local channels reliably, you'll likely need an attic or outdoor antenna setup. Feel free to use my YouTube channel as a resource to research antennas. I also offer antenna recommendations specific to your area on my website at antennamanpa.com. I run a reception report at your exact location, take a look at the frequency, signal strength, and even tree coverage, determine what antenna would work best for you based on my experience testing out over 100 antenna models and actually installing them in four TV markets. Thanks again for watching this YouTube video. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post a new video, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and time related videos and have an awesome day.